Hey you travel lovers, today I am in Latvia in Kolria, which I'll put the name here in case I'm saying it completely wrong, and I'm on a quick fam trip to showcase like food and wine and um, just lovely area outside of Riga here in Latvia. So let's go see what we're going to. All bundled up and now we're taking a quick little city tour and there's about 9,000 people here and to say it more properly it's more like Koriga as the name of the town and there's a lot of movies done here uh, movies that are for this region um, nothing like an American might know but so these people are actually very used to movie sets and things like that um, but it's just such a cute small place and I'm already kind of in love with it and can't wait to come back <laughs> facts for you about Latvia. Um, it was actually independent from 1991. So after the Iron Curtain was lifted, um, Latvia became its own republic, which is amazing. Um, the people here are just very proud and it's definitely a place to go um, if you're in the Baltics. Um, it's just, you know, Riga is the main city, but there's so much more like this place that we're in. And there's just so much history here, but also it's comfortable, cute daily life that you actually get to see the authentic lives of people, which I think we miss sometimes, and this is definitely an area you can do that. On our tour, we found this little door, and um, I was like, that looks like a hobbit house. I've never actually seen Lord of the Rings, but I'm familiar with the references. And it used to be an entrance to the castle, but it didn't used to be underground. So this land has kind of come up and now it's uh, where they do wine tastings in the summer. So I feel like I have to come back for that. And also the tiling that you see right here, um, that is basically the perimeter of what used to be the castle here. So I don't know, I find that pretty cool. We're doing a blind tasting. sparkling wine yesterday so I have the flavor already in my head. <laughs> okay so that wine tasting was pretty awesome. Um, the guy just wanted to make wine so he's been making it since he was 13. How cool is that? And he's gotten really good at it so hopefully we'll find a bottle. Uh, there's a wine shop across the street uh, so I think we're gonna try to find a bottle there and now we're going to the coffee roaster to learn a little bit more about roasting coffee. Just so you know, I don't like coffee, so I might have to ask some of the others what they think, but it should still be pretty cool. Next on our adventure is the Kapile Manor, and we're going through and seeing some of the rooms that are gonna be getting renovated, and now it's owned by some private people, but the space is just massive. There's so many buildings. Um, it's not renovated yet, so it's still very cold. Super, super cool. There's gonna be like a restaurant here. I think there's gonna be some like apartments or something like um, for tourists to stay in. So stay tuned for that. As a bonus, we are doing a wine tasting here at the Kabili Manor House. And we're starting off because it is chilly, it's November, with some warmed wine. So let's give it a shot. Mm. I think it's more fruity than like a spiced hot wine. It's really nice. So we're starting with that and then we're gonna go on to the other uh, wines that they make at the winery. Um, yeah, and then I think we're gonna wrap it up. And But first, more wine. We're on another wine. This is the rosé. This is rhubarb rosé because they do mostly fruit wines here. Um, and it's sparkling. And so we've had mold wine, we've had um, apple cider sparkling, and now rosé rhubarb sparkling wine. So this is really cool. Oh, hey, yeah, sorry. That was a bit abrupt. <laughs> Actually, throughout my time in Latvia, I was fighting a cold 
and by the end of every day I was just so exhausted that I forgot to film an ending. But I wanted to share with you that I bought three different wines while in Latvia. We have apple pie wine, dandelion wine, and my favorite that I cannot wait to share on Christmas. This is from the last place that you saw, some Christmassy spiced wine. I am in love with this stuff. But Latvia is known for fruit wines, as I mentioned, uh, rhubarb, apple, uh, blackcurrant, blackberry. There's so many different kinds of wine that I can't wait to go back and I would definitely do a wine trip through that area. Now, I'm curious, are you a wine purist? And it has to be grape wine and it has to be from the wine countries that you know already. Or are you open-minded and totally willing to try some new wines that are made from different fruits and maybe even flowers? Anyway, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek into Latvian wine, and there will be more to come on the blog, so watch out for that. And when that is live, I will put that in the links down in the description. So please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!